Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, like I said, comment, there's subscribe to all the subscribers. This is generally anybody who watches these videos. Uh, Welcome back. Incoming! <laughs> you can flash all you want. You're not getting filled yet. So, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So, there has been a topic that keeps coming up every year in Northern Ireland. And no, it isn't the Ulster Grand Prix. No, it isn't Parliament or Stormont isn't formed or anything like that. It's and the recent headline is Boris Johnson says the Northern Ireland the Scotland Bridge is a possibility. If there was ever a stupider idea in the world, it would be putting a bridge from Northern Ireland to Scotland. And let me tell you that I'll I'll be fair. I'll I'll give this I'll give the bridge the pros, and I'll give you the cons. Now, the the bridge thing has been the, well, it's constantly been brought up recently, but over the last couple of years, it has been brought up that yeah, a bridge from Scotland to Northern Ireland wouldn't be a bad idea. And you're like, I, I know politicians are stupid, but how stupid does it have to be to suggest that? So some pros, I'll give you the pros because the, the cons might outweigh it. The pros of the bridge, the bridge to Scotland from Northern Ireland is freedom of movement. That big word that everybody likes to use freedom of movement would be increased you could get on the bridge and go to scotland like me i guess like 26 mile or something from the closest points and uh that, that's that's pro number one pro number two ah uh, feck i forgot pro number two pro number two would be meaning you're not relying on ferry services, you know, you're, you're, you can literally just drive across the bridge on it, sir. If I can think of proof number three, it would be, for me personally, trips to Scotland would be cheaper. Now, that's a pro. The cons of the bridge would be, number one, it would hardly ever be open because of the weather, because... There is a bridge here in London Derry, Derry, Stroke, Stroke City that it's similar. It has a, it has a, a bridge, big bridge that bridges a bit to the other bit. And, uh, well, that bridge is feckin' useless too because in the high winds, it's closed. So what do you want to do is stick a feckin' bridge 25 miles long or whatever they were like planning to do part bridge part tunnel um expect it not to close you're expecting the bridge two countries together with 25 mile odd part and expect it not to close that was going to be one of those bridges probably with roads and rail on it con number two and it's a bit of a, a it's a, it's a bit of a bad one. Like Northern Ireland isn't doing too well with its mental health. I mean, it has the highest suicide rate in the country. You can kind of see what I'm saying. So, uh, it's kind of like, why would you put something that is twenty odd mile long? from one country to another for someone to drive onto it, able to stop on it and hoof themselves over it. And I know that's a bad way to put it, but it's it's probably the best way. Uh, con number three. You put a bridge and I think it I think it was it was meant to be from Larne, of all places, to Port Patrick in Scotland. So the opposite side of where Stranraer is.
Now, for anybody who doesn't know, most of Northern Ireland's cargo, the uh, go 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 it, coal, gas, oil, petrol, freaking containers, and the Stena ferry system go in and out of Lawrenport. If you then put a humongous bridge from Larn to Scotland, you're taking, you're basically cutting off Belfast port because, well, they're not, obviously they're not going to build it high enough to put a boat underneath it. And if they do, that, that again will cause the bridge to close because of the wind. But now you're having to divert all your cargo ships down south round the bottom of the Republic of Ireland and then into Belfast which then takes time then takes money then everything goes up in price it's it's just like if you have the money and a couple of guys we work with a couple of guys we work with were saying well they have, if they have that money why don't they build a tunnel Obviously, a tunnel would be more expensive and take longer, but the way they're talking, the project's not going to be like up in a year's time. It'll be like four years, five years, or whatever. So it's not, it's going to take a while. Nobody has access to that sort of stuff here anyway. So we're not going to go. Oh, you can't close that because we use it because we ain't got it. So take the time, build a tunnel that won't close. And then you can still keep your ferry, you can still keep your transport links, everything. It's a weird idea, and I know it's a weird concept. And I'll, if I find it, I'll throw a few pictures up here of the 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 possibilities. Now, I'm not that against it, but. In my head, the scenario is you build a bridge, Belfast port, then has to say, for example, closes down, because obviously, or closes down and moves the Larn. Bridge then is closed, so then you have to send all your freight down south to your southern ferry company or your southern boat so then you can get it across to England then to drive it up to Scotland so why does a tunnel not make more sense I don't know that the, the government like Boris Johnson is just freaking crazy let me know what you think because it'd be interesting to see what the people of Scotland and the people of Northern Ireland have to say about the actual uh, project and if they did have it because I'll be honest if it was there I would use it but they're going to stick a stupid tar tr or tool on it because it'll be a private company that owns it and then the government will subsidize it to a point where it's like a pound for a motorcycle or something daft like that or it'll be like an e-tool thing and it just does it scream common sense? If you're going to pay the money to build a bridge, why don't you just pay the money to beef up the infrastructure around Belfast and Larnport? Because if you can beef it up and slap another ferry on, two, say two ferries going out, two ferries coming in, there you go. Uh, I don't know. England be crazy. <laughs> he can't open his window. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Do you, would it be something that you would use? I mean, like, would the bridge be something that 
you would actively make maybe would it encourage you to come across to Northern Ireland or was is your restriction is there like you know heights and you're scared of the boat and you're not good traveling in the sea and all this here let, let me know what you think um uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below um i'm a, i'm genuinely intrigued to know what people are saying what people are thinking i for one i prefer taking the boat i just do it is just me and it's easier you can sit and chill for three hours or two hours and a half and you know you're, you're just relaxed and then you're ready for your next set there's an extra 20 mile involved well 20 plus as always guys like comment and if you haven't already subscribe it doesn't take much i don't spam the unboxes and uh, don't forget keep it lit and if you can't keep it lit get the uk government to build you a bridge <laughs>